I interviewed Donald Pinder from the Harriet Tubman Museum in Cambridge, Maryland. I interviewed him so I could find out more about Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman took a stand against slavery by freeing more than 300 slaves and working in the Civil War as a nurse and spy. Araminta Ross was born somewhere around 1820 and 1821. We do not know when she was born because slave owners did not think slaves' birthdays were important. At about the age of 12, Araminta was hit with a two pound weight in the head. After Araminta's head injury, her mother nursed her to health for many weeks. After she was better, Araminta Ross changed her name to Harriet in honor of her mother. After the incident, Harriet was treated with respect. She was no longer a child. The significance of Harriet's marriage is John Tubman tried to convince Harriet Tubman not to escape. John Tubman even threatened her. If she escaped, he would tell her over. Harriet used the Underground Railroad to free herself in 1851. Later, she became a conductor of the Underground Railroad. In 1854, she comes down and takes out three of her brothers on Christmas Day. A lot of people would be not thinking about this on Christmas Day, <laughs> but she was also successful. They end up in Auburn, New York, changing their last names to Stewart. Mm -hmm. Now, why Stewart? Uh, at this time, John Stewart was the governor of New York, a great friend of Harriet Tubman, and a helpful friend of Harriet Tubman. Uh, the property that she owns in Auburn, she had help actually getting it from him, the governor at that time. Then later he came, became Secretary of State under Abraham Lincoln uh, during his reign as president. But Harriet Tubman had uh, seven brothers and sisters, and actually Harriet was the fifth child of that union. Now in that particular household, the Ben was not there. Ben was owned by another slave owner called Dr. Anthony Thompson. He was a medical doctor and a local preacher. And he was born, and he lived approximately 10 miles west of that location. Now the only time that Ben could see his children was on Saturday. Slaves worked six days a week, and they did not work along with owners on Saturday. And that was his also visiting day to actually see his children. I looked at my hands to see if I was the same person now that I was free. There was such a glory over everything. The sun came like gold through the trees and over the fields, and I felt like I was in heaven. The Underground Railroad is a series of networks that had safe houses that slaves used to escape. The Underground Railroad began in 1819 and ended in 1858. How did the slaves know who Harriet Tubman was? And by physical stature, when you saw her, you would probably be laid back. Her physical height was no more than five foot two. She traveled all through Dorchester County, so she had practical experience. And once she started to work the Underground Railroad, she knew where all the safe houses were and knew the places and distances they needed to travel. Harriet Moses Tubman freed more than 300 slaves as a conductor on the Underground Railroad. She worked in the Civil War as a nurse and spy for the Union Army. Towards the end of her life, she made a home for the poor in Auburn, New York. Harriet Tubman was a conductor of the Underground Railroad. The slaves she was freeing had to rest in houses run by Quakers called safe houses. This is a person doing very, very dangerous work. Harriet Tubman did extremely dangerous work while freeing slaves. She could have been shot and killed. 
Harriet Tubman or the slaves could have been caught and been enslaved or put in jail. They could have been injured so they could not continue to freedom. There were rewards for catching Harriet Tubman. The highest rewards were up to $40,000. That is equivalent to about $25 million today. Harriet Tubman was hired to the Union Army under the command of General Montgomery. Harriet Tubman worked as a nurse in Port Washington for the Union Army. The Union Army, under the command of General Montgomery of the Massachusetts Regiment, and she served working with him. She also worked in Fort Washington as a nurse and did various roles in the Civil War. That's what great heroes did. We don't have to do just one thing. During the Civil War, Harriet Tubman worked as a spy to find out about the plans the Confederate Army had made to attack the Union Army. John Tubman was killed here in Dorchester County in 1867 over a dispute, over a property line um, dispute with his next door neighbor, Benson. And the trial was done here in Dorchester County, in Dorchester County Circuit Court, and his neighbor was found not guilty.